Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Raphael's Insights. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I welcome you into this beautiful channel. Welcome to the world of the esoteric, the divine, the beautiful, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new, if you're not new, you guys, welcome back. Um, before we go anywhere, you guys, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. Make sure you guys like every single video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and, and follow all my social medias. Everything's in the description below. So if you guys don't know where to find that information, it's down there, you guys everything that you need to know. Um, if you want to follow my social medias, just click on the link that I have down there for all my links. Um, I think it's called Beacons AI or something like that. Click on that and it'll take you to every single social media I have and you can follow me there, you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you so much for believing me. Thank you so much for following me, you guys. And let's continue growing, you guys. Let's continue building this little community. Uh, and thank you guys so much for everything. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for understanding when I get things wrong. Um, of course, you guys, I'm human. I never said I was perfect. There's predictions and there's there's prophecies, and I have two prophecies that I just that I have received. Um, definitely, the catastrophe one was a prophecy. I've realized that whenever they give them to me in dream visions, or they they actually physically come and show up and they tell me you need to talk about this, or or they tell me directly like you need to talk about this because sometimes the predictions I do are more to my tarot cards, but the visions and the and the messages from them. They're completely separate. Whenever I say they told me this, I saw this. Those are prophecies. Anyways, you guys, I don't want to make this video long. So let's get started with the predictions and let's get going. The High Priestess. The High Priestess is not a coincidence why I chose it as the cover of the video. The reason I chose this card was because I kept ignoring it. I'm not going to lie to you. I kept ignoring it. I kept shuffling my cards, kept shuffling my cards, and I kept ignoring it. This card here kept falling out kept falling out and it wasn't until I acknowledged it that I actually received the message that this card was trying to tell me. The reason I chose this was because the card brought a divine energy. It said it, it brought a lot of messages and it continues to bring a lot of a lot of more messages and I'll, and I'll share those with you. But the thing that this card here told me was that the cold was going to be very cruel, that the cold was going to be like never seen before, but also that good and evil are going to be going at it very intensely this this month. Um, the good and evil is going to be going at it very intensely and that's why we see so many catastrophes we see good things happening like um countries coming out of covid countries beginning to open up relief is starting to move again but the devil is wanting to hold its grip and that's why you see so many catastrophes the devil is wanting to cause more catastrophes more disaster more natural disaster more natural more accidents and what this card is saying right now is saying that there's going to be more accidents more more vehicle accidents a plane falling a plane falling is, is something that, that she keeps repeating to me. Um, it says that there's going to be, again, good and evil continues to go at it for the rest of the month. Another revelation that the high priestess has recently just given me, and, they, and she said, tell them, tell them what, 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 you, what I said. And she said, in the country, in the place where they have two presidents, one of them will die of some sort of a heart attack, some sort of a heart-related condition, whether it's COVID or whether it's something more or even... Um, an attentado or terror attack against that person's life but what she said in a country where there's two presidents one will die another message that the high priestess brought me that the divine brought me was what's this you guys I was at work for those who don't know I'm a mechanic during my day job um, and I was working on a vehicle uh, and, and for those who don't know, because I know I don't talk about this very often, but when I say they, when I talk about they told me or I saw this or they, they spoke to me, I'm always talking about the angels, God and the divine, because that's who I work with. And that's who I see. I see the angels. They come to me. I've seen God multiple times. Um, and now the Virgin Mary, the Virgin Mary is very present. And that's why I chose this card right here. Um, a very holy woman. Let's go with that. And well, when I was working on this vehicle, I looked I, I looked up and there was a mountain right behind that that vehicle and when I looked up I saw the mountain right and the mountain just started to split in half and it, it like it, it split in half but the interesting thing about it when it when it split in half a bunch of water just started to fall just started to flow it was like an intense flood and it's interesting because if they're showing me this it means something like that is coming when they're showing me this type of vision when I actually see it in the way that I saw it where I saw it happening like if I was standing there and if it was a mountain or something like that, right? If they're telling me this, it's because something like that is going to happen. But to my understanding, um, it's going to be some sort of a massive flood like we've never seen before. Either a tsunami like we've never seen before uh, or a tsunami in general, right? 
and and or a dam breaking as well because that that's what i understood from all this from from the water from it breaking and then it's splitting and all this flowing out i understood that it was going to be a dam breaking a massive flood or a tsunami one more revelation that i had you guys that i have to tell you guys about the sun the sun the same way the cold has came in and it's been very cruel it's been very intense it's been it's been as like we've never seen it before the sun wants me to let you know god the angels want me to let you know that the sun is coming in just as intense the same exact way that the snow has came in the the ice the the storms have came in like we've never seen before the sun is going to be hotter than we've ever seen before the sun's going to continue to get hotter and hotter the cold is going to continue to get worse and worse but when the sun when summer arrives when the sun when it starts to get hot it's going to it's going to be it's going to be like we've never seen before and there's going to be fires literally everywhere for the us for the us this card right here says that that covid relief begins to move again it's been kind of slow it's been kind of stuck i i see it beginning to move again if not coming out very soon I see COVID relief being being given very soon. So that 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 starts to move again. The death card. The death card's gonna continue to be very dominant. That's why we see it. We see all these accidents, these catastrophes in the United States, but we're gonna see a lot of catastrophes in Europe, in UK, in of course the United States, Latino America, a lot of more accidents. This card here is following a lot of people in power. Political people continue to resign. Political people Deaths for po political people, politicians, as well as presidents. Presidents have this card here, very, very dominant. In Venezuela, in Venezuela, I've already told you that this card is is following uh, Nicolas Maduro, um, and, and in multiple different places in in Latin America, this card is following. But in Europe, in Europe, the main thing that 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 continues to to that I continue to see, and even more so in February, this card here is sitting on top of the Pope. The death card is sitting on top of the Pope. What that means is that his he he doesn't have much longer left. It says that that his life, that there there are some threats to his life. There are some threats, health related and or caused. But I don't see I don't see uh, the Pope lasting very much longer, you guys. Um, but in Europe, it also talks about world leaders in Europe as well that have this card very present. Pol political people continue to resign. And we've noticed a lot of people in, in politics are resigning all over the world. We see, we've see seen it in the United States. We've seen it in Europe. We've seen it, I think, in, in the UK as well. We've seen a lot of people in power resigning. But this card here is following a lot other people with, with the death in the United States. Presidents, ex-presidents as well, politicians as well get dominated by this card. The Tower. Earthquakes, you guys. Of course, we got to talk about earthquakes. Earthquakes, earthquakes in Asia continue, you guys. Earthquakes in in Europe as well. There's there's gonna be earthquakes in Europe as well, you guys. Earthquakes in, in California, in the United States. Um, another thing that I want to talk to you about is is the tower. One thing that you guys that I've noticed, you guys, and I've, that I've said it multiple times before. There's something before there's something. There's always gonna be signs, especially when it's gonna be something just huge, just catastrophic, you guys. There's gonna be either accidents, there's gonna be either either a bunch of explosions before a huge explosion, a bunch of little accidents before a huge accident. In this sense, what I wanna bring your focus to is all those those tsunami warnings that we've been getting. There's gonna be a tsunami very soon. Um, of course, Asia is, is definitely the one that, that continues to be brought up, but this tsunami can happen literally anywhere. Alaska, it could happen um, literally anywhere, but I does say, that we need to be mindful of this that a tsunami is is getting closer also earthquakes for for um the united states i do see a big one this this year for the united states the tower the cold is going to continue to dominate the united states it's going to continue to affect the united states again like never seen before you guys animals frozen literally everywhere people frozen everything frozen ice literally everywhere you guys but this is also going to affect latino america and mexico i see it snowing in places where it doesn't it doesn't snow as often or it doesn't snow um at all you guys it's gonna it's gonna get very cold in, in mexico and latino america in in europe as well in europe the snow is going to be the, the the cold i should say it's going to be and continue to be like never seen before more meteors you guys there's one specific meteor that's really catching my attention and the one that they keep showing me is one that actually lands. 
one that actually either hits the water or hits somewhere, but it, it's a meteor that actually hits the ground and it either causes a huge, a huge wave, a huge, a huge tsunami or, or, or earthquake, some, something along the lines of that. But I do see it landing. I do see it hitting. But I do see more meteors in Asia. I see meteors in, in um, Latin America and Australia just had one. So got to make that prediction fulfilled video for that. But the energy is just completely moving in space in earth and that's when you realize that everything is connected this card here you guys i know we, we've all seen that trump didn't get convicted but this card here continues to dominate him remember i told you that there's three things that are really following him jail prison death fleeing the country or all three this is not the only time that prison is going to be knocking at him but i don't see him being in 2024 running for the elections for the US, Australia, and Latin America. Intense fires, either getting close or happening. But I, I keep seeing fires and fires keep being brought up for those three places. Well, you guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching Rafael's Insights. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for believing me. Thank you so much for supporting me, you guys. And if you haven't liked this video, go ahead and like this video right now, you guys. And follow, share with everybody because this this flood that I keep seeing, you guys, I don't, I'm not going to say it's as bad as, as Noah's Ark or anything like that, you guys. But but that was one reference that they did say. They said it's going to be it's going to be really bad, some sort of flood, some sort of dam breaking. That That right there was really significant when they show it to me and the way they show it to me when they tell them to me the way they tell them to me that's a prophecy the three things that i talked about in the beginning of the video that they're prophecies those are are just waiting to happen whenever they happen um but you guys thank you so much for watching everything thank you so much for believing me follow me and if, like i said if you if you want to follow all my social medias if you don't know where to go it's in the description below you can follow all my social medias i post little things here and there and, and all of them you guys and don't forget to follow um the new facebook page Rafael's insights slash ask Rafael's insights you guys and you guys thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you guys next time. Bye